We will visit today a Fairline Squadron 78 that was built in 2009. The boat is in amazing condition with very low engine hours. And I will take you through a very detailed walkthrough. So stay tuned. This channel is about yachts for sale located in Turkey and sold internationally. We visit and inspect every yacht we list for sale. So we are starting today uh, from the flybridge. Uh, but before that, let's take one or two minutes and I will show you a little bit of the external of this boat. And soon after, we will continue. So as I said, we are starting from the flybridge. Uh, we will look at the helm here, the helm station. There are two big screens of Raymarine, uh, autopilot, searchlight control, uh, bow and aft thruster, thrower, and VHF, all from Raymarine. There are two very sportive uh, seats here from Ricaro, which will keep you in any speed in one place, uh, safe and stable. And here is a quick look at the flybridge all together. This boat is very, very functional boat. Every, it seems that uh, the designers have thought about every small detail. Now this Bimini, uh, I'm going to show you soon how we are folding it, uh, how we are opening it. It is open hydraulically. There is a, there is a hidden piston here, here which is opening this uh, Bimini hydraulically. And there is a great sitting area over here with a very big table. This table can be lowered and then filled up with cushions from here and become a big sun bathing area. There is a very nice barbecue station here, uh, which not like any other boats or not many other boats is uh, facing the, the the seating area um, so here's a frying uh, area sink there is a small place for a uh, trash here down here there is a small fridge another fridge here and ice maker here <coughs> so everything is very practical and um, at the back there is a place for a jet ski which can be lifted with this crane, Opakmara crane. And this is a very good place to view the huge uh, water platform. Now it is storing uh, about a 4.3 meter dinghy. Uh, though this dinghy is not included in the sail, but it just demonstrates that this boat can carry about 4.5 meter dinghy without any problem. So, another look at this beautiful flybridge. It's a beautiful day here in South Turkey. The sea is empty. We are still under the environment of the coronavirus. So everything is empty and the sea is very clean. The water are very clean. Okay, we are heading down to see the deck areas. Great large um, stern, stern deck.
and we are moving forward quickly uh, to see other things in this boat. There are two doors here, which probably practically when you have small children, to separate them, not let them run forward. Uh, you can look at the gel coat here of this boat, which has kept in very, very good condition. The windows, in general, you will see later this boat is kept as new. Okay, so when I said that the designers thought about every small details, I meant that you can see here place to store your fenders without messing around. That's a great solution. There is an identical storage on the other side. And here is another nice storage space, which goes from here all the way to the other side. And that means that you can put your fishing gear here and also you can put a small surfboard here, which is great. <coughs> and of course, there is a great bathing area here. And place to store your cold drinks in both sides here. Moving forward, there is a one uh, stainless steel Delta 60 kilograms anchor with a very long chain of 130 meter, which is made from stainless steel. You can see her down here in the ch chain locker. Uh, with Lumar uh, anchor winch. And we are returning backwards. And this is the other side of this long flat storage that can store either a surfboard, fishing gear and other materials. This is another uh, dedicated storage for fenders, door to the wheelhouse. And then again, you can see how well this boat kept the gel coat looked as new these things here are the intakes air for the engine room which we will visit last today and another look at the aft deck great aft deck so we are moving forward to see the interior of this boat. It's very impressive interior, which was kept in amazing condition. We'll try to do some close-ups on the furniture, on the interior, and you will understand how well this boat was kept. There is no scratch here. Now here's a big TV screen, bar, and in both sides of the TV screen, there is storage for glasses and so on. There is an open galley here. But before that, we will have a quick look at the dining table, which will easily sit eight people around it. Now, this galley is very well equipped. And I will go very quickly on the details. <clears throat> so there is the main uh, working area, which is an island just here. And in here, dishwasher, trash compactor, sink of course with a stainless uh, platform and um, we have fridges here and freezers down here and also here of course the stove um, air vent and here we have a microwave from Millet and we have espresso machine, integrated espresso, espresso machine for Millet and oven, just here. 
<clears throat> everything is very well kept and very clean. Moving forward to the flybridge, there is a complete helm station here, again with two Recaro seats, sportive seats, which can be adjusted electrically. Panels of 24 volts, 220, chart plotter, which can be adjusted to other screens and displays. Another small display here, E80. Again, everything from Raymarine, autopilot, uh, tri data, which can display different uh, different datas, uh, side power thrusters, uh, bow thruster and stern thrusters, and of course the trollers. <coughs> now that's about it. Yeah, there is also a control here for the searchlight. So we move downstairs to see the lower deck cabins and then again you can see the quality of this boat, quality of hand, uh, handcraft and the very uh, good condition that she has been kept. Okay, there are four cabins in this boat, two guest cabins, one here one there which are sharing the heads behind there is the master cabin and at the front of course there is a vip uh, um, cabin we will start with this guest cabin it's a twin bed cabin very clean this boat is odorless, there are no bad smells at all. And this cabin has a door to the shower and the head. In this boat, the shower and the head are very big compared to the size of the boat and very spacious, as you can see. In each one of them, there is a towel hanger which can warm the towels and uh, dry them and opening the door back to the corridor and we will go to see the other guest cabin um, on the starboard now this one is interesting it's unusual it has two beds one here and one more high and the reason for that is that you can fold this bed and have a small office which is quite nice idea because most of the time the boat is not doesn't have eight guests on board so the owner can use this as his office and then again the cabin that we just left is using using this uh, headroom moving forward to the VIP cabin. Again, there is a beautiful and very spacious uh, head and shower. Very clean. Everything is shiny. Every corner is clean. And that's the VIP, VIP cabin, of course. with its own hatch, port light. It has two large storage spaces on both sides and many other small ones. Other one is here. Big wardrobe. More space under the bed, like this. The bilge of this boat is very, very clean. I checked all the places that it can be checked. And you can see in the website uh, photos of the bilge as well. If you want to see more photos and details of this boat, you can visit our website by clicking the link at the video description below. 
And having said that, we are in the master cabin. It's a full beam master cabin, which is located amidships, which makes it very large and spacious. Small seating area here. The other side is a makeup table. Of course, with a mirror. <coughs> and large windows, which you can see this beautiful environment. One of the windows in each size can be open and provide fresh air. The middle one. And there is a big wardrobe, walk-in wardrobe here, which is very convenient. And then again, look at the details of this boat. Everything is very, very accurate. Everything is bulletproof and at the same time beautiful and elegant. So let's go to see the heads. <clears throat> Sink and toilet and very big shower. So we are heading backwards and we are going to see the engine room and the crew areas which are basically at the same condition of all the boat, excellent condition. One more quick look at the salon from a different angle. And we are moving. Well, here's another great look at the, this huge hydraulic water platform with 4.3 meter dinghy. Again, this dinghy is not for sale, but it can demonstrate quite good the size that this uh, water platform can accommodate. So, we are heading down by going down three steps uh, into the crew pantry. It's a nice small pantry. And there are microwave, there is a microwave here, a small fridge. And then a very small galley that the crew can have his uh, snacks and, and to take some rest. Just behind me is the captain's cabin, which is here. Uh, it was one head, which is there. And it is shared with the other crew member. So this is the, the other crew member. And then again, same head, which is shared with the captain. There are two beds here for crew, which be quite enough for this size of a boat. And we are moving forward to see the engine room. Now also the engine room compared to the size of the boat is very very uh, functional, very well designed. Starting from a starboard there, is a, there are two shore power cables here which has their own drums and automatic um, folding so to say. And there are two uh, Caterpillar C32 with 100 
1000 sorry 572 horsepower each with very low engine hours as to the time that this video was made they have only 1600 engines sorry engine hours and here we can see one of the two generators from Cummins Onan with 22.5 kilowatts each and then again with very low engine hours uh, as for today it's 1750 approximately there is a water maker here from Sifari um, above the generator one nice thing that I like here in this boat is that the uh, water filters, the uh, seawater filters are uh, has been raised um, and this is very easy uh, to clean them. You don't need to go under the bilge and search for it, it's just in front of your eyes. The same for the fuel filters, they are raised up and you can see the condition uh, through the transparent separators. Uh, another generator here same as the other one well pretty much the same engine hours on the generator and that's about it uh, last one is the um, inverters and uh, battery chargers which are located here and here and the station the hydraulic station which is providing power to the water platform to this huge water platform so that's about it um, let me remind you that if you need to see more details about this boat pictures full specification lists uh, you can visit our website by clicking the card that uh, uh, available on the screen or use the link at the video description below thanks for watching and if you like this video please do subscribe